While en route to the destination, it is very common for changes to affect original planned route of flight. This could be due to ATC requests, weather, or aircraft performance. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to intercept a course while in heading mode and add and delete waypoints. We will also discuss how to enter temporary waypoints as well as a present position direct into the flight plan. To fly a heading to intercept a course in the flight plan, click on the waypoint. Select From Waypoint to make the leg between this waypoint and the next waypoint the active leg. Arm the nav mode to capture the course while in Heading Select. ATC may also request a heading be flown to intercept a radial to or from a waypoint. Select the waypoint on the iNav map or the waypoint list and click Intercept. Rotate the data set knob to set the desired course. The FMS automatically displays the radial. Select Apply and verify the change to the flight plan, then activate. Arm the nav mode to capture the course while in Heading Select. To add a new waypoint, select the waypoint after which the new waypoint will be added. Click on Amend Route and enter the new waypoint. After activating the change, review the new route on the iNav map. There are two ways to delete a waypoint from the active flight plan. In the Waypoint List window, click on the waypoint, select Delete Waypoint and activate. The waypoint can also be deleted using the iNav map. Click on the waypoint, select Delete Waypoint and activate. Performance predictions on the waypoint list are updated anytime a waypoint is added or deleted from the active flight plan. Temporary waypoints can be added to the flight plan. Temporary waypoints only exist in the active flight plan and are erased when the flight plan is completed or deleted. Temporary waypoints can be defined by place bearing distance, place distance, place bearing, place bearing, or using latitude and longitude. To enter a waypoint based on place bearing and distance, click on the desired waypoint and select Amend Route. Type in a place, bearing, and distance that defines the waypoint and activate. Temporary waypoints are displayed with an asterisk and are assigned a number. A place distance waypoint is normally used to establish position along an existing course to be further constrained by ATC. Click on the waypoint either on the waypoint list window or on the iNav map and select Cross. Select Past or Prior to the waypoint, enter the distance, and activate. The next temporary waypoint option is Place Bearing, Place Bearing. This type of waypoint is defined by a bearing outbound from one waypoint, intersecting a bearing inbound to another waypoint. Click on the waypoint and select Amend Route. Type in the place bearing for the first waypoint, followed by the place bearing from the second waypoint, and activate. The RR notation for this type of temporary waypoint stands for Radial, Radial. The last of the temporary waypoints is Lat Long, and there are two ways to enter these waypoints. On the waypoint list, select Amend Route and enter the latitude and longitude in degrees, minutes, and seconds with no spaces. For example, a north latitude of 40 degrees, 35 minutes is entered as N4035. A west longitude of 118 degrees, zero minutes is entered as W118. 
Once the latitude and longitude have been entered, activate the entry. The other option is to use the iNav map. Click on the waypoint that will precede the lat long location and select Amend Route. Move the cursor to the desired location on the iNav map and push Enter. Verify the location of the lat long waypoint in the waypoint list and activate. The Direct To function provides the capability to proceed from present position to another waypoint with minimal steps. Click on the waypoint and select Direct To or push the Direct button on the MFC and enter the waypoint. Once activated, all waypoints between the present position of the aircraft and the Direct To waypoint are deleted and the Direct To waypoint becomes the active waypoint. Waypoints that were deleted when the Direct To was entered can be recalled as long as the Direct To leg is active and the Active To waypoint has not been changed or sequenced. To recover the waypoints, click on the From waypoint and select Direct To Recovery. After activation, the FMS recalls the flight plan from the selected waypoint and proceeds directly to the next waypoint. This has been an overview of en route changes on the Primus Apex equipped Pilatus PC 12NG aircraft. Please refer to the Aircraft Flight Manual for more information.